Okay, I have something really interesting and fun to share with you today. Uh, for this, you just need nine cards. Uh, we'll go ahead and just have them in order, and I've chosen hearts for all nine. So what we're going to do is we're going to randomize these with significant input from you. Okay, so the first thing I want you to do is just randomly cut the packet wherever you would like. So the spectator would just cut the cards wherever they would like. And then we just deal out into uh, two piles with random stacking decided by you, the spectator. You want right on left? Okay. I'd like to have you cut the packet again anywhere you want. Okay. Complete the cut. Very good. Uh, we'll deal out into two piles with random stacking. Do you want left on right? Okay. And then we'll do another um, random cut by you. Let's say right there. Okay, complete the cut. And then we'll do a third and final uh, dealing into three piles. How would you like these piles stacked? Right on left. Okay, and then why don't we do a final cutting by you as well? Okay, so you go like that, maybe right there. Okay, very good. So what I need you to do now is I'm going to need your psychic assistance here because I would like to see if I can work some magic here. After all of that randomization that you controlled, I'm going to take these cards behind my back and it may take me just a moment, but I'm going to try to put them in numerical order. Ace through nine. Now, of course, if I take them behind my back off camera, uh, you have no idea what I'm doing. I might just secretly put them in order. Okay, so I'm going to have to show you what I'm doing behind my back. Okay, which is fine because this is a educational video meant to teach you how to do it. So what you would do behind your back is I'll, I'll go ahead and do it. You may not know why I'm doing it. And then I'll explain after behind my back. All I'm going to do is move the top card to the bottom. That's all I'm going to do. And if you want to like make noise with the cards or something for a second and then bring them out and say, well, let's see if I've lost my touch. I believe I put the cards in perfect numeric order. Let's see how we did. Oh, doing okay so far. We nailed it. Thank you for your psychic assistance there. It really did help. Okay. Um, now, I'm not sure how much you saw when I did the tapping on the table. Uh, which is, you know, part of the effect here. Um, so let me go ahead and show you how this is done. And right before filming, I thought of a wonderful, quote, kicker you could add to this if you wanted to. Okay. Now, the kicker involves having the ten of hearts behind your back, you know, where you can readily get it. Okay. So the idea is that this is behind your back. And then you'll add it to the packet in just a moment, okay? Which is going to be quite a surprise to the spectator when you put them in order ace through nine and you still have a card in your hand. And they're going to go, why do you still have a card? And then you show that it's the ten of hearts and watch their head explode. Okay. So anyway, so pretend this is behind my back, you know, just where I can grab it. Okay. So how does this effect work? Well, it's similar to one I've done earlier with 17 cards, but in may, many ways, this is the more superior mathematical principle being used. Okay. And so let me just tell you what's true for a packet of nine cards. And it truly is not the case for just about any other packet size out there. Okay. Um, at least I haven't found any. <laughs> so you can go all the way from one, two, three, up to 50 or something. And the property I'm going to show you, as far as I can tell, is unique to nine card packets. Okay, so what the property says is you can cut this packet of nine cards. You can deal out the cards into two piles with random stacking decided by the spectator. That's all true. You can randomly cut the cards. And by the way, if you want to be a little fancier, you can also do a Charlier shuffle, if you've seen that before. Uh, that really should convince the, the spectator that the cards are beyond the knowledge of anyone. But I thought I'd keep the tutorial uh, you know, as simple as possible. 
Okay, and then you deal out into uh, two piles again, random stacking, decided by the spectator, maybe right on left again. Uh, they're free to cut it, or you can do a Charlier shuffle. And then the third and final dealing out of a nine card packet with random stacking, maybe left on right, what it will do is it will return the cyclic organization of the cards. Now it may be shifted as we can see. So we have ace two all the way to seven and then after seven it's eight nine. Okay so we won't be able to control that little register shift is what they call it. But the fact is it comes back to cyclic order except for a cut right. Okay, so I don't know if you caught this in the presentation or not, but you know, after I had you do a final, final cut, I'm not sure if I did, did that just a moment ago, I said, okay, very good. I like tapped it on the table like I'm squaring it up. Well, from my angle, this is what it looks like to you. I, I can see it like that well when it's like this, <laughs> okay? So I can see that this is a two. Okay, now with a two, the procedure I was going to recommend for you will be a little bit of work. Um, in the performance, I saw an eight right here. So I only had to move the top card to the bottom. Um, but the idea is we just need to get that two and that ace back on top, okay? So one way to do it, since we only have two here to shift, behind your back, you just move the two to the top and then move the ace to the top and you're done. Okay, we'll have it. Uh, let's say we have something more, you know, maybe more common or something, I guess. So let's say we have a four. Uh, well, if you're not wanting to move cards from the top to the bottom, what you could do is just count without reversing the cards that need to be moved to the bottom. So for example, this is five. So in your mind, you could just count, but don't reverse count. So five, six, seven, eight, nine, move to the bottom. Okay, so you can just do that with your hands behind your back and then you will have restored the order. So it really is up to you. Having a two at the bottom, it's just, you know, you only have to move two cards to get it in the right order. Okay. And then what I mentioned about the a special card is actually still behind my back is once you get it in the order ace through nine, you would just pick up that card, slide it on the bottom. Okay. And then you can go through the reveal that you are able to put them in numeric order and then look a bit puzzled when you get to nine and go, wait a second, how many cards? Didn't we have uh, <laughs> didn't we have nine cards? What's, what's going on here? And then reveal that magically out of nowhere, <laughs> the 10 has appeared in this packet of nine cards. Okay, so anyway, that's the secret. So the mathematical principle is for a packet of nine cards, you can randomly cut it and then perform three left-right shuffles with random stacking and randomly cut the packet between each of those dealing outs into two piles. And then at the very end, you can do a final cut. And it will be the case that these cards, uh, they may be completely in order or very likely they'll be kind of shifted, okay? And then once you know the identity of the bottom card, you can move the requisite cards so that you regain the ace through nine, okay? So with a three at the bottom, I think I'd be tempted behind my back to just, and then in your mind, you just say three, two, one for ace or whatever, and then you're all set. And then if you want to grab your 10 while your back, while your hands are behind your back, that would be great. So anyway, it's a really fun effect. And th this is a rare, rare property that an odd size packet when dealt out three times into two piles with random stacking and random cutting returns the pack to its original cyclic order, okay? Now the effect was 17 cards that I showed you. Technically in that effect, the three dealing outs, which I did there as well, reverses the order of the packet reverses the original order. Here for a packet of nine, it's a true regaining of the order. Okay, so which makes it special. So um, anyway, so this is a wonderful property, special to a packet of nine cards that you can take advantage of. And in fact, there are so many ways now to leverage the mathematics of what's going on and create additional effects 
using the fact that you know that the cards are going to be essentially put back in their original cyclic ordering. So anyway, uh, thank you for watching and I encourage you to take a look at other videos on the Absolute Math Magic channel.